everyone so in this video we are going to discuss about different types of statuses that your strategy goes through in the cycle of uh, entering into a strategy till exiting the strategy so we will see different types of statuses that uh, the strategy will take okay so the first one is the active status so as you can see over here whenever you first deploy a particular strategy either in paper trading or in live auto or in a, any other type of deployment so what will happen is uh, the strategy will be seen in active status so active status if you click on this i symbol over here you will see that what it means is that it is checking for entry conditions of all sets but as none have been satisfied no trades have been taken yet so for example if your uh, entry time is say 9 30 in the morning and if you have deployed the strategy at say 9 20 so then till then it will basically actively check the strategy conditions till the first initial condition of uh, of taking trade after 930 meets so whenever the strategy takes the trade automatically this status will change from a live uh, from active to live entered so live entered is when the strategy has already entered into into a particular trade so that is the initial uh, status where we see this is active so if, whenever the strategy is active you can also uh, basically delete or uh, archive the strategy from here itself so if you don't want to proceed with the trade then you can immediately archive archive is similar to uh, deleting the strategy but just that whenever you archive a strategy it, the data of the previous trades that have taken in the strategy will stay whereas when you delete the strategy it, all the data including the strategy id and everything gets deleted so there is no way to track whatever has happened in the strategy so that is the first status that is active second let's move on to the status that is paused so as you can see post status means that no conditions are being checked existing positions taken if any will continue untouched till the strategy is reactivated or exited so this is an important uh, 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 status where if you have paused a particular strategy then uh, and if the strategy is in live auto mode and if uh, there is an active position that has been taken in the broker terminal and if you then pause the strategy what will happen is that tradetron will stop checking the conditions of the strategy so then in this case you will have to either reactivate the strategy from here from here you can just again start the strategy so it will start taking the conditions or you have to exit the strategy so that what will happen is that if there is any open position that will get exited so it's a very risky thing to pause the strategy and let the positions uh, be open uh, in your broker terminal so whenever you don't want to take a trade the safest way is to basically click on this and exit the strategy and either archive or delete the deployment so that it will not take any kind of further trades so whenever there is a, a, the strategy is paused, make sure that uh, you uh, keep a track of the strategy so that at any point in time it should not take any extra trade. And also uh, one mistake that clients usually do is that if it's a live auto strategy with say multiple legs, uh, then they will pause the strategy at say 2 o'clock in the afternoon and they will uh, activate the strategy the next trading day at around 10 o'clock. So what will happen is that at that time since the strategy is paused, if there is any condition that meets, it will basically fire an exit order or the next order whenever you restart the strategy. So that can create a loss or uh, uh, an abrupt trade. So it's better to always uh, basically exit the strategy or let it run as per the conditions uh, and not let it stay as paused for a longer period of time. If it's an intraday strategy, it's specifically uh, requested of all clients to basically exit the strategy before market hours or else uh, it can go into exit pending and that can cause an error. So that is about the post uh, strategy. So whenever it's your own strategy, you will be able to see that you can either exit or start or even delete the strategy. But if it's a marketplace strategy, you will ideally not be able to delete it because there is a component of profit sharing that has to be shared as per the billing. And hence you will be able to archive the strategy in case it is paused. So remember that these are the options that are available to you. The next is blocked. So uh, there are two reasons why a strategy can get blocked. The first one is uh, basically, so in case of blocked, right, what it means is that no conditions are being checked. Contact strategy creator or trader on support to get the strategy unblocked or exit the strategy. So whenever the strategy is blocked, right, 
all uh, you have to remember that the reason why it may get blocked is because either numerous trades have uh, taken in uh, in the strategy it has taken more than say 200 300 trades basically your strategy has gone into loop where it's constantly buying and exiting and that's a uh, that's due to some error in the strategy so as you can see over here this strategy has got blocked because it has taken multiple trades in one single minute so many trades it has taken constantly entry and exit at 829 in within one minute it's taken hundreds of trades so as soon as the, uh, uh, the number of trades crosses around 200 in Traytron, the strategy will automatically get blocked. It means that there is some error in the strategy. So anytime the strategy is blocked, the only way to uh, take it out from uh, un a blocked status is to basically delete the strategy from here or archive the deployment. So once you delete or archive, then you can redeploy the strategy after you have uh, checked the conditions and uh, stopped the strategy from going into loop. The next reason why it can get blocked is that either uh, your Traytron subscription or the strategy creator's subscription has expired. So if your own subscription uh, say starter plan has expired yesterday, then today your strategy will automatically get blocked. Also, if you if the strategy creator subscription has got expired, then your uh, then the strategy that you are using of that strategy creator will also be blocked and you will not be able to use that strategy. So those are the situations under which the strategy gets blocked. So you can either archive the deployment and then uh, or and either delete the deployment. And then later on, once you have subscribed or uh, you have made the changes and uh, fixed the strategy, then you can basically redeploy the strategy. So that is what it means when uh, the strategy is blocked. Next is live auto one click, right? So when it uh, so over here, as you can say, awaiting one click. What it means is that when a condition is satisfied and the execution type is live auto one click, the system waits for a manual confirmation of the position to be taken by the user. In the interim, the conditions are being checked. So see over here, right? So whenever the, uh, as you can see, what it means is that now the strategy, uh, whenever uh, I deployed the strategy, after that, the strategy condition has met. And now the system is telling me that if you want to actually trade this particular trade in my broking account that is angel broking then i have to basically authorize this particular a uh, trade so every time when your deployment is a live auto one click uh, it will not directly place the trade in your broking account it will wait for your authorization so every time what you have to do is you have to click on this proceed over here you have to check the trade that is trying to take and uh, click on proceed so when you proceed at that time automatically over here the trade will be placed and uh, this quantity uh, you can see that this particular trade will take the trade and uh, your the quantity will be one or whatever trade you have initiated so that's how live auto uh, one click uh, works so over here you can basically uh, see the status according to that and then from awaiting one click it will change to live enter and again after entering at the time of exit uh, it will not automatically place the trade it will give you a pop-up again that is again awaiting one click and you will have to proceed and authorize the trade again at the same time while exiting the strategy. So this is the entry trade. So if similarly at the time of exiting or repairing the strategy, you will have the option to basically uh, proceed and uh, authorize that particular trade. So it's similar to manual uh, manual trading only. At the same time, you can at any point in time delete the deployment uh, if it's your own deployment. And according to that, you can uh, keep a track and control of the strategy. So that is awaiting one click. The next is error execution manage so over here as you can see so if there is an error in executing the position with the broker the system waits for the user to fix the problem and click on retry next to the status in the interim no conditions are being checked so this is when you have to be the most uh, cautious and most alert so whenever there is an error execution what will happen is that uh, as a notification even on the Traytron mobile app you will get a notification that the strategy has gone into error so what it means is that the trade uh, if there are multiple legs maybe that a uh, couple of trades have happened in your broking account and those positions are open and if then after that the strategy has gone into error it will not take any further trades and it will stop checking the conditions so basically there is a risk that the open positions in your broking account can continue haphazard way without uh, uh, say uh, exiting or even uh, uh, or even getting uh, the target or a stop loss hit at that time so you have to make sure that uh, you basically close out any open positions that are taken by the strategy in your broking account once they are closed what you have to do is over here you can just change the deployment from live auto to say live auto one click just to avoid the risk of uh, any further trades that happen 
and once you have uh, basically closed out the position from your broking terminal that means there will be no further trade that will go randomly from here and then after that during market hours you have to make sure that this is managed during market hours itself or else it can go into exit pending so you have to click on manage and what you can do is you have three options so ideally what you can do is just cancel the trade from here you can proceed and then automatically the strategy will be active again so once it is active you can immediately go over here and archive the strategy so once it is archived what it means is that it will not take any further trades this deployment is now invalid and that it will not take any further trades and that uh, 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 any uh, any positions that you have closed out uh, in your broker will also uh, basically uh, be be closed out and you will not be facing any kind of losses in this case so it's important that you take these actions when the strategy is in error execution so this is how uh, the strategy will look when it's archived and if you refresh this page this strategy will go into the archived section so that is how you handle error execution also and the reason why the error can happen is also uh, you can see in the notification log for example in the notification log it, ch it checked the uh, condition at around 8 19 pm and as you can see uh, the reason why it got into error was because angel broking access token failed my user id is invalid so that is the reason why this trade did not go through and that is the reason why it, it gave me an error at the same time that this strategy has gone into error so according to that you can manage the error execution and uh, archive the strategy and then again redeploy the strategy from my strategies page so that's how uh, our error execution works and at the same time we also discussed what archived means as you can see over here an exited strategy can be archived for reporting and inspection purpose no conditions are being checked so basically it will not take any trades after it is archived in fact if you uh, it's similar to delete only but after deleting as i mentioned earlier after deleting the strategy all the data will be wiped out so uh, this SID F5596922 if you delete it then there will be no data that will be available for this SID but if you archive then that data will be available in the archived section that I will show you after this and after that uh, the next status is uh, live entered so live entered is basically when over here so live positions have been taken and all the conditions are being checked to repair exit the positions as required so as you can see this uh, strategy had taken certain amount of trades say from 8 15 am it has taken certain entries and exit entries and exit and it is exited as of now uh, and it is awaiting uh, uh, this basically has gone into the loop uh, since the condition was like that but uh, what we have done is uh, this is just for example purpose that over here it is uh, still in live enter because it has not exited the strategy through universal exit so it's still open and whenever the condition will meet the next entry condition will meet it will take the strategy uh, it will take the trade so what it means is that uh, the strategy uh, this is the uh, step between the strategy being active from where the condition is checked and once the condition is checked and the trade has taken place it will show that the strategy is live entered and once it is universally exited then the status will change to exited so that is how basically the strategy uh, will show when uh, it is live entered and whenever it is live entered you will also have the option to say pause or archive or exit the strategy if you click on exit it will uh, exit all the open positions and uh, the status will change to exited so this are there is a uh, so this is the menu that you can use to basically control or whenever uh, a particular strategy deployment is showing as live enter the next is exited so as we discussed whenever the strategy gets exited via universal exit then only the status will change to exited so for example over here if you see this is basically when it shows is that exit entry exit entry exit so this exit is basically set level exit but if you see at the end at 8 9 25 pm this is basically the universal exit so whenever the strategy gets universally exited only then the strategy status will change uh, to uh, exited status or else it will still show live entered as you can see over here this is since this is the set exit so the set exit uh, uh, will not trigger uh, will not basically change the status from uh, live entered to exited only when there is universal exit it will change to exited and uh, universal exit can be triggered by the universal exit condition that we have in the in the uh, universal exit section so over here at the bottom if i go to the bottom 
So universal exit condition is at say 2359 or you can whenever you manually exit the strategy from here if you click on right now it's already exited but if I change the status from here to exit then what it will do is I will just show you confirm to exit it. So as you can see as we as soon as we clicked on exit the, it is basically similar to universal exit and that's the reason why now the status has changed to exited. So that's how you basically exit the strategy uh, either manually or through universal exit. So whenever 2359 uh, the strategy would have exited uh, through universal exit. Also if there is a trailing stop loss that you have put. So trailing stop loss also works at the strategy level and if the trailing stop loss is hit then also the strategy will change the status from uh, live entered to exited so because that's also equivalent to universal exit only. Uh, so that is how basically different uh, um, uh, options work. At the same time you will see that there is also a something called as live tranching. So whenever there is a strategy that is uh, taking a trade after the status is active from here the step that it follows is that it basically checks the conditions and then it starts taking the trade. So the process of taking the trade till the time it is entered is the live tranching process that is basically calculating the quantities and accordingly trying to place the order into your broker terminal. So that's the process uh, that is called as live tranching. So those are the different statuses that we have. Now for example if I uh, just simply archive this particular strategy that is uh, strategy 559 uh, uh, or if I say uh, for example if I want to uh, uh, since this strategy is already archived right um, maybe I'll just archive uh, this particular strategy that is 559-6958 so once we archive this strategy once I click on archive as we can see this is archive uh, I'll just remember the name uh, ID 958 so I will just refresh this. So once I refresh, as you can see, this strategy is now uh, taken out of this place. So there is, it's no more an active deployment over here. And once we go to this page, if I just click on archived and uh, filter it out, then I will see that this particular strategy over here, Nine five eight. So this is the one that we basically archived or this is these are the different deployments that we have archived today itself. So as you can see those archived deployments are visible over here and you can also see the trade and the notification log for the trades that have happened in those archived strategies. So this backdated data even though this is archived it will still be visible over here and whatever trades have taken place in these strategies will be visible. Whereas if you delete this if for example if I delete this from here if I click on delete and if I delete then this data is gone. Now that particular strategy is uh, deleted from Tratron completely. So there is no way for Tratron support team also to check if there is some issue with the strategy or there is no way for you to also go back and check if there is some hap uh, something that has happened and you cannot track that particular deployment. So that is the difference in, uh, 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 in archiving the strategy and uh, uh, basically deleting the strategy. So that is that is what we discuss in this particular video. Okay, all right. Thank you very much.